We're continuing Unit 2, Day 3, starting on Example 5. We've been given a graph of f of x, and we're going to sketch a graph of the derivative. So I see here that this f of x graph is decreasing. Since f is decreasing, that tells me that f prime is negative. Furthermore, I see that f is concave up which tells me f prime is going up. In other words, f prime is increasing. So when I start to draw the f prime graph, I need an f prime graph that is negative everywhere, so it's below the x-axis everywhere, and my f prime needs to be increasing everywhere. So if it is below the x-axis and always increasing, it would look like so. Furthermore, I do see here the graph of f of x on the right tail is getting flatter and flatter. The slope of f is getting closer and closer to being zero. So that means the derivative f prime gets closer and closer to zero. And as our last example, f of x looks like an increasing logistic function, and we're gonna draw a sketch of its derivative. So I see here, f of x is increasing on the entire domain, so my f prime will be above the x-axis. f prime will be positive because f of x is increasing. So on the left side of that inflection point, f is concave up, which means f prime will be going up, f prime will be increasing. And on the right side of the inflection point, we see f is concave down. And so we should find that f prime is going down. It's decreasing. So f will be, f prime will be entirely above the x-axis. First, it will be going up, then it will be going down. The peak will be at 85. I also am going to just take a look at the end behavior here. On the left tail, f is getting flatter and flatter, and on the right tail, f is getting flatter and flatter. So that tells me that on the left tail and the right tail both, the f prime will get, be getting closer and closer to zero. Because the slope of f is getting closer to being zero, f prime will be getting closer to being zero. So it's above the x-axis. On the left tail, it's getting closer and closer to being zero. And on the right tail, it's above the x-axis and getting closer and closer to being zero. F prime is increasing up until this peak at 85, and then it's decreasing. Example seven. The graph below shows a profit function. So we see here that this function inputs X dollars spent on advertising, and it outputs the profit that the company earns in dollars when they spend that much on advertising. So for example, the y-intercept, when they spend no money on advertising, they have a profit of $475,000. Up here, when they spend $650,000 on advertising, they have a profit of 4,220,000, and it looks like after that it starts to decrease, uh, it looks like this is 700,000 on advertising. They make less, they make 3,800,000. Okay, so we wanna sketch a graph of the derivative function, and we're gonna make sure this time, since we have real world context, we're gonna label the input and the output with meaning, with real world contextual meaning. All right, here we go. So first of all, the derivative of f of x is inputting the same x values as the original function. So on our derivative function, we're gonna input x, which represents dollars spent on advertising. But the output is gonna represent the instantaneous rate of change at that x value. It's gonna represent the derivative at that x value. Now the derivative is always like a change in y over change in x. So in this case, it'll be the profit in dollars per dollar spent on advertising. So this is F prime that we're gonna be on the output axis. It's gonna be profit 
dollars per dollars of advertising. How much the profit increases per dollar of advertising or how much it decreases per dollar of advertising. To create a sketch, again, we're going to use the same techniques we used before. I see here F is increasing between X equals zero and X equals 650,000. I also see that F is concave down on this interval. That means my function F prime is positive, but going down. So from X equals zero, to x equals 650,000, where we have a critical point, f prime is above the x-axis, but decreasing. Again, at 650,000, we do have a critical point, a place where the derivative is zero for just an instant. It's right here at 650,000. And then, after that critical point, f is decreasing and F is concave down. So that tells me F prime is negative, F prime is going down. So it's below the X axis and decreasing. And I'll stop it right where this other one stopped. So this is 700,000. You'll notice also F is steepest positive amount here. The fastest rate of growth on this given function occurs right here at the y-intercept. The graph is steepest there. And you see the derivative is highest at that value. It's saying right then at spending no dollars of advertising, if they increase advertising dollars by just a dollar, that would have the most dramatic impact on their profit, a lot of increase in profit. But over here, at like $649,000, when they increase their dollar of spending on advertising, it only goes up a little tiny bit in profit. Now it would be in their best interest, it looks like, to spend $650,000 in advertising because that makes their profit highest.